Hello everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a genie vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, we will be reacting to Relative Race, Season 8, Episode 5. We got a whole lot of stuff going on. We have Team Red with two strikes, Team Green with one strike, getting their first the other day, and Team Black with one strike. So technically, Team Blue is in the lead, even though they haven't won a single day yet. We have a lot of family members we're expecting all of the different contestants to meet. We have Team Blue to meet his dad, his sister, his mom. For Team Black, we're expecting them to meet their sister, and then they have a dad now that they can meet. They, they have a picture of him. I think his name was Arnold. Team Green, he just met his sister. So will he, you know, learn more about his dad's side today? Is it going to go back into the sister's side? Because he did meet his uh, cousins on his dad's side. And he knows that his dad's one of five brothers, but not anything beyond that. Other than that, four of the five brothers have already passed away. So he has a one in five chance that... His father is still alive at this point. And then for Team Red, he still has to meet his mom. I, I'm trying to remember if he, if any of the relatives he's met have been on his dad's side. I don't think so. I think they've all been his mom's side. So I guess there is that question when we learn about his dad's side. So all sorts of stuff going on as usual. But before we do jump into the video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. With all that fun stuff said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. It's day five of Relative Race. All four teams are spanned out all across the nation. With Team Red in Cincinnati, Ohio. Team Blue in Byron, Mississippi. Team Green in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And Team Black in Ure, Colorado. Oh, 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 we got a second. Oh, it's Tyson from Dan. Oh, okay, it's time. Welcome to day five of Relative Race. Team Red will be traveling to Rising Sun, Indiana. Team Blue will be traveling to Gulfport, Gulfport Mississippi. Mississippi. Team Black will be traveling to Durango, Colorado. And Team Green will be traveling to Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Today's first place prize is a five-minute head start tomorrow. Your time starts That's now. a pretty good uh, okay, advantage. Okay. All right, man. Yeah. We have one minute of GPS time, and we're going to use it wisely. Day five with no strikes, we know that there's a target on our back and that if there's any penalties to be given out, we're most likely going to get it. But we're going to go ahead and just prepare for it so we can push through it and hopefully continue on without any strikes. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, go. I know, baby. You know, this is only for goodbye for now. It's, it's uh, see you later. It's not goodbye, right? Oh, oh baby, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Got a What's this about? So Team uh, Blue said, since our last prediction for Team Red came true, would anyone else like to make any predictions? Well, first, thank you, Team Blue, for the good energy and support. Let's go ahead and anticipate you guys being first today. Love y'all. Oh. Nice positive attitude. All the time. I got a new attitude. They're the best. You know Team Black and Team Green's like, no. <laughs> <clears throat> like, guys, why would you want them to be first? You know what I mean? They don't have a, they're the only ones without a strike. We are trying so hard to it's root true. Team Red. That's but true. It's like that. It, it makes it hard. <laughs> so let's root for the unstriked team. That doesn't make sense to me, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. Just because they rooted for them, or I guess, yeah. but then I get that. But that's no, we were all I mean, rooting for Red. Let them play their game. We were all happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If they want to root for the person who's going to knock them out, that's fine. Let them do that. See, we're not doing the smack talking. We're making it. We're 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 making the smack. We're making those smack talks. That way we can just sit back and watch it. <laughs> Bam! Look at that. I did it. What did it's he a say? Day for Team Blue to get their first strike. Love you guys. <laughs> 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 point. That's pretty good. It better. <laughs> yeah. It's like punch in a bandage. It's like saying no offense after you offend somebody. It makes it okay. Right. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Or a bingo port right there. Right there. Look for Rio Rancho. Anything Rio Rancho. 
Welcome to Rising Sun. Yes! Come on, we're a rancho. Where are you? Right there! Where? Oh, pull over! Durango Outdoor Exchange. Pull in. Turning. Oh. Welcome to Rising Sun, Indiana. Your challenge is located at the Shiner Park. That Rio Vista Park, Westside Park. Your challenge is located at Buckley Park. Let's go. If it's at a park, Let's I go. imagine it'll be a big sort of thing. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay. Scoop it and hoop it. Day five's challenge is scoop it and hoop it. I don't know if it's just me. I'm getting kind of Quidditch vibes here. <laughs> Anybody else comment below? Teams must get three balls from one end of the obstacle course to the other. The first section requires passing the balls through tubes, with the second section requiring teams to toss the ball through boots. Oh, that's cool. Once all three balls are deposited on the other side, the challenge is complete. Good ball, good ball, good ball. Oh, wait, hold it still, hold it still, hold it steady. Oh, there you go, right there. Yeah. There we go, there we go. Yes! Go! Slow, 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 perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Got it, easy, easy. That first part wasn't too bad. Now on to part two. Yep. Oh, wow, that's actually, that. that's a lot longer than I expected. That. That looks like it'd be really hard. The learning curve on this is steep. You got to get right angles. You got to get the right trajectory. It's just, and it's all off because it's so heavy. You got this. Yes! Oh, wow. So we get it in and we thought we can do this. Yeah. Touch it! Ugh. Little further! Ready? Yes. Yes! All right. This is going to be tough. This is frustrating. Get through. Oh my gosh, we finally get one, and now I think we know how this works. Get it! Yes. Yes. We finally have momentum. We see the finish line. We finally figuring this out. Doing the second hip actually was a lot easier because you could get more height onto it. And so we get through that, get the ball in, and now it's time to turn around and go get this third one. Go, 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 go. Your relative is at 144 West 17th Street. Nice. Go, 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 go. Your relative yeah. lives at 2538 Mary Hill Drive. Let's go. Time to use the GPS. Your lives at 6904 Schist Avenue. Northeast. Let's, Let's go. go. It's going to be the next one. The next one up there. You're going to go that way. There's only one way to go unless you want to get to the water. Let's take our moment right here in this parking lot. Yeah, we can do that. Get ourselves together so we're not wasting time. Our first place prize yesterday was GPS for one minute. We can't write anything down and we can't take any pictures. So, like, right. <laughs> so that's kind of funny you said that because I think the first season they had the GPS, somebody was they just wrote down all the the directions. So then they were like, you can't do that. So then the next season they were like, well, you you can't write it down, but they didn't say anything about not taking pictures. Well, I guess they had to change that now. <laughs> oh, we good. It's four minutes away. Four minutes away. Four minutes, yep. Right so we're gonna turn left out of here. We're gonna turn left out of here. We're gonna turn left at this light. We say the oh, GPS wow, for navigation easy. to our relative. Turns out they're super close. This should be a breeze. Why would we turn left at the light? 11.06, okay. 11.10. 11. It's going to be on this side. Okay. Once that music kicks in. We pull up to the house, and I'll see my relative. 
Joe sitting on the porch, and I know who that is without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, is that his sister? I immediately know that's my sister Brandy. face i could see myself he looks a lot like me yeah wow. slow down the heart <laughs> <laughs> well, how you been how was great now <laughs> yeah oh my gosh i've been looking for my brother for over 20 years I have went round and round trying to find you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just knowing that she looked, she tried, just it filled a big, big hole in me. Because I didn't know if anybody did or didn't. I held you the day you the the day mom brought you home from the hospital, I held you in my arms. I knew you had dark colored hair. And then after that, it's like you were gone. And I never seen you again. At 10 years old, I didn't understand the process and everything. The realization that she did hold him, that she did have that connection with him, and that she did want to have a relationship with her brother, but that was taken away. And now that they, they can rekindle that, and it was just, it's beautiful to see. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Hey, let's do this. Oh, older sister? Hey! Hi! I've been so excited to meet you. Hi, I'm Christine. <laughs> I'm Pamela. I'm Tony. And I'm her daughter, Tara. Okay. And how are you guys related to us? We are actually your cousins on your mother's side. Okay. And I knew your grandma, Dolores Bilkey. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Can we get hugged? Of course. Okay. We've heard about her. Your person. family. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to meet Sweet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I'm Tara. And I'm Tony. And we are cousins of Christine and Pam. I'm so glad to meet you, yeah, though. I, I've been too. so anxious ever since I heard I had two little cousins. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, we're excited to hear any information that you guys might have and family history. And Oh, I got lots of stories. Oh, we have stories. <laughs> I don't know if we can put them all on air, but I got lots of stories. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting that finally, after a couple of days, the family pieces are coming together with the names and the family tree and people who have spent time together, like our cousin Tony spent time when she was a child with our grandmother Dolores and knew our biological mother Diana. So it's great to kind of make those connections and have that puzzle piece fit together. It creates a, a, a fuller picture. I feel like it shouldn't be this far. Because oh, they said it was four minutes away. No, no. I think it went too far. Oh, yeah. oh no. So oh no. That one minute of GPS just wasn't enough time. Go ahead and tell Turn around. We gotta hurry up. Yeah, we do. What's going on? It's a big town. It's not on the map. We stopped and asked people. Nobody knew where our street was. What? Oh, it's right there. What? Back up. It's right there. You see it? We were turning around, and then I noticed that the street was right there. Three houses down. We almost missed it. Wow. Oh, here it is, right here. We finally found our relative's address on Meyer Hill Drive, and we forget about all the other stuff that just went on, and we get to see who's standing waiting for us. Hi. My name's Jarrell. I'm Amani. I'm Tina. I'm Gene. Whose relative are you? I'm Victoria's brother, which would make me uncle. 
I am Gene Lee. I am Jarrell's uncle. His mother is my sister. And I want to get in on some of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Similarities. No. <laughs> similarities. Now you know where you, you got your height from and your wow. build from. Wow. <laughs> you got it from, yes. Oh, wow. You got that here too. So I got it. Trudeau has an uncle. He doesn't have any uncles in his adopted family. They've, they've passed. So he has an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I saw that. We found it. We found it. Father's side? <laughs> you know how we found it? Luck. Oh. Are these brothers? Hey. Hey, how's it going? I'm Steve. This is my wife, Susan. I'm Brad. I'm Chase Pruitt. Pruitt? Yeah. Y'all are my relatives on my dad's side? Yeah, we're your brothers. What? My brothers? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? They look a lot alike. Brothers? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, what, what's your name? Uh, Chase. Chase. <laughs> Brad. Brad. To be the very first Bruce that Steve meets is a honor. I mean, yeah. I feel like we are the, you know, we're the roots. a good start. We're the roots now. <laughs> so. How old are you, man? Like, I'm 40. 40. What about y'all? 36. 34. 34, all right. I got younger brothers. I'm the big, I'm the old brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the big brother. Yeah. Uh, dude, we look alike. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. all up in here. Yeah, the Pruitt jeans are strong. They are, man. Yeah? They follow around, yeah. Is there a bunch of Pruitts? Uh, there's a few. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, his dad had a bunch of siblings. My mom's side, now I got two brothers on my dad's side. I'm so happy. You know, you know, dad, then, you know. We do. Is he live? Uh, well, let's go inside and we'll talk about it. How about that? All right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I got two brothers. Even though I'm married to your uncle, I am actually your mom's foster mom. She came to live with me when you were a baby. Really? So you knew Jarrell. Mm -hmm. I had my three kids and they were small and we were walking to the store and your mom was sitting at this bus stop shelter. You were probably about three or four months old, but you were crying and you were crying so hard. And I was like, are you okay? And she was like, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. And she's trying to quiet you down. And I was like, is he all right? I was like, it sounds like, you know, I said, is he wet? Is he hungry? You know, what's going on with him? And she gave you to me, and I'm gonna tell you what. You had the biggest eyes. You had some headlights on you, baby. And I was like, just come on and follow me home. I said, I'm not crazy or anything like that. I said, I just want to see if he needs to be changed or fed. And, and you know, and you can call somebody, because she said, I'm waiting on somebody to pick me up. And I was like, that's okay, you can give them my address and they can pick you up from my house. And I took you and your mom home with me that day. And you stayed at my home until they, until you were adopted. So you lived with me when you were a baby. With him becoming emotional, I felt like that broke that chain that may have been binding him for so long. It's gonna be all right, big man. It's like a lifetime of emotions. You got plenty more to, to hold back. You got plenty more. 
We all do. Yeah. <laughs> we all do. I'm old boy. I don't know. To see me sitting here today in front of her and for her to tell that story to me, I'm blessed. The fact that Tina offered to take me and my mother in, knowing that she had her own stuff going on at home and she still offered to take in a woman with an infant, that that's just remarkable because it's it, it takes a lot to take care of an infant. And So does that mean that she didn't know her current husband when he when she first like brought them in and like i i guess maybe that's how they met i i wonder if she'll talk about that that right there is a blessing in itself it was a a really big blow when they they took you from us but i'm glad it sounds like you had a good life and it sounds like you got adopted by some really good people and thank god that now he brought it full circle when you're back in our life. So I'm thankful for that blessing. But you still got headlights. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that story really hit hard. And it hit home. So that's how I came into your life and how I knew you. And then I met him. Okay. I stayed in your mom's life. I met your uncle at her wedding and then we just kind of went from there so i was 17 years ago so do you know um the, her backstory i know her backstory some of the stuff i really want you know to leave that's that's part of your journey you know so that's some things that you will find out that might be some stuff the relative race was like don't tell him yet First and foremost is that you have to know that you were loved. You were loved. And I loved on you every day. Wondering if I was wanted or loved isn't even a wonder anymore. It's turned into a statement that I am wanted and that I am loved. Yeah, he looks so much like his uncle. It's crazy. Okay. Answers. I mean, I, I got brothers, but that also means that y'all were raised or know our dad? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it raised us, yeah. So I got a picture, and I was showed as one of these five guys, and they said only one of them's still alive, so his dad's still alive? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is. <laughs> oh, my goodness! I mean, I'm sure y'all are stoked about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, he actually was the youngest out of the... He was the youngest out of all of them. But he's alive and kicking. Yeah. When my brothers told me that Dad was still alive, I was just so relieved. Like, I had... I mean, with the odds, only one is alive, and then you either got an uncle or a dad. You, you have to prepare yourself, especially after day one. For them to say that he is alive was just a huge sigh of relief. I think I might have laughed. I, I don't, I'm not sure what I did, but I know that in that moment, everything, all this stress and, and fear and everything that I was holding in just was, was gone. Oh my gosh, do you have pictures of him? Can I see him? I didn't have a picture of him. Um, this is actually uh, dad from kind of back in the day, right? Okay. He's always in the background. Chase and BJ showed me a couple photos, and I finally got to see my dad and know that that is my dad. Um, uh, one was when he was younger, and it had Grandma Ola and everybody in it. And then the other one was, uh, I think, a more recent photo um, with him being huh. a little bit older. What is dad's name? Billy. Billy? Billy Pruitt? Billy Pruitt. Billy, Billy, Ray, Pruitt. Billy Ray Pruitt. Billy Ray Pruitt. Billy Ray Pruitt. <laughs> Billy All, Ray right. Pruitt. Keeping it All right. He's keeping it country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Billy Ray Pruitt. Yeah. Hearing my dad's name for the first time, Billy Ray Pruitt, I mean, it just made it that much more real. You no, know, normally, like around uh, regular folks, he's really comical. He likes to be the life of the party, man, honestly. So, yeah. Yeah. if you um, can talk over him, it's a miracle. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, um, believe that. So, I can't wait to see him. Yeah. So in talking with my new brothers, 
BJ and Chase, and I learned that he was a great dad and he raised them all. That he was there for them you know, the whole time. But did he know about him? It, it almost makes me feel like he didn't know. I got a lot of questions. I, I gotta meet him. I, just, I hope that he wants to meet me. Okay, well, this is your grandma. Should be Dolores. Dolores. Grandma yeah. Dolores. Pretty cool. cool. Huh? I love that picture. Yeah. She's so young in there. I know. Yeah. So what have you learned about your ethnic background so far? Not a whole, whole lot, but we've learned that about the French Canadian. We've learned that our biological mother um, had some, well, I guess it's the French Canadian part, like Caucasian or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then um, African American in her as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I was extremely touched by their story. I mean, to be adopted and go through the foster system at such a young age and go through years of not knowing their biological family. And from what it sounds like, they had an amazing family growing up. And I'm even grateful being their extended family now. So that French Canadian side, mom is where we have a lot of information. I wanted to show you some pictures of our mother. My sister pulls out a book, and for the first time in my life, I get to see my mom's face. I see me. Yeah. I see you. Oh, what was her name? Connie Ann Stubbs. Ann Stubbs? Brandy's talking about the pictures of my mom, and I'm... You can tell there's some nervousness and some consciousness and just the way body language and voice. Um, our mom was murdered 10 years ago. She didn't have the chance to meet her. When Brandy told me that my mom was deceased and what happened, there yeah, was a lot. Was, everything stopped. I saw red for a minute. I, I was mad. I was angry. I was sad. I didn't know. I didn't know how to react. I don't know how to how how to deal with it. Chase. 
Yes, take Team Green out for a little surprise. So we want to bring you guys out to do something that we've never done before, which is paintball. Yeah, right. we've never done it either. No? All right. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's go. We just met my brothers, Brad and Chase, and what do they do? They invite us to go do some bro stuff. A little paintballing. <laughs> bring Steve and Susan to paintball because we have ne never did it either and we figured it would be a good uh you know family bonding I think Susan was probably the best shot out of everybody <laughs> go around it's behind you ah! it stings a little when you get shot it does sting a little get shot we want to do well we want the other team to do well but we want to go all the way to day 10 let's go see what I say about tonight. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking it's really hard to figure out for today because they all seem to do decent in the challenge. I'm wondering how well Red did because they had the GPS at the end there, but then like they ended up seemingly going too far and missing something. But then at the same time, Team Green seemed to have issues to finding the place, so I wonder if it will be a Team Blue win. That'd be pretty crazy. Right now, they're the only team without a strike. So if they got a strike, it actually would be kind of good because it lets all the other teams have another day. It is time to find out who finished in first and who picked up a strike. <sighs> Finishing in first place and receiving a five minute head start tomorrow at 14 minutes over their allotted time. The twin sisters are on the rise. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my gosh. We've pretty much been in every position so far, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, we kind of know what it feels like to be every position. Of course, number one is the best feeling. I like this feeling. I want to keep shooting for number one. I mean, that's why we're here. Finishing in second place, five minutes behind, 19 minutes over their allotted time. You guys kind of sit in this place on a regular basis. Team Blue? Congratulations. <laughs> Still no strikes. That means that it comes down to Team Red. Oh. Team Green. Please don't let it be Team Red. Please don't let it be Team Red. It's still going to be terrible because that puts Team Green with two. And that means that even after winning three days in a row, that they're technically tied for third if that happens. So... It's either Team Red's gone or Team Green and Team Black are the only ones with strikes. So I guess we'll just have to see. Team Red, you had a lot of rain and you had your challenges. You finished 28 minutes over your allotted time. Team Green, you really struggled both getting out to the freeway and to your relative's house. You finished 28 minutes over your allotted time. The exact same time what? Team Red. And do you know what that means? We're not giving out a strike. What? I love it. Good job, Team Red. Wow. Good job, Team Green. Good job. <laughs> is that the first time there's ever been a tie on relative race comment below if you know i i can't remember any other ties that's crazy <laughs> Holy <cow. laughs> i know right scary. Oh, everybody lives another day Team Red must have been on pins and needles. Oh man, that would have been tough. Just sitting there like, oh, please let me have another day. No strike. No strike. <laughs> Second place again. We just... As long as we are guaranteed three more days. Yep. Well, you know what's like kind of hit me is that out of the four yeah. teams, three of us now will never meet our biological mothers because three of our mothers have passed okay. away. Yeah. So Jarrell's, he's it. He's the one carrying our torch right now. 
if he can meet his mother. I do hope wow. now more than ever that we'll get an opportunity to meet our biological father as well as the family that he's built on his side because we will never have the opportunity to meet our biological mother. So in that sense, he's all that's left. So now it's even more important to me that we will get to cross paths with him. Okay, wow. I think that that might be one of the best relative race episodes ever. I mean, just in terms of getting all sorts of stories resolved and just the emotion of it all. And like, I mean, I can feel it as I'm talking. I tried to even blow my nose and all that. Like, and it's just like, what is, this is crazy. I must say that the story with JT has to be one of the most emotional ones I've seen. I mean, that moment when his sister puts the ashes on the table, it's kind of like, you know, oh my gosh, that's just, I don't know. Was, I, I can't imagine how intense it must have been for him. I mean, he must have been crying for hours that entire day. And then Steven from Team Green getting to meet his brothers and finding out his father's still alive, the one of the five brothers still alive. That's, that was really cool. He was so happy. That was, I mean, he was laugh crying, I think. He said he didn't know what he was doing. It looked like he was laughing and crying at the same time. And then to find out that whole story with Jarrell's backstory, I mean, that really was crazy that, you know, I mean, this woman literally, in a sense, I guess, could have saved his life. Um, you know, I mean, if his mother was having such issues taking care of him and just, you know, being able to support herself. And I mean, I imagine if, based on the story that there must have been something going on with Jarrell's mother's family where maybe they weren't so well off. And so for her to bring, you know, Jarrell and his mother in and then to become a part of the family and literally become his aunt. I mean, that really was crazy. I was, I was kind of hopeful that she would show some photos of like when he was there. Um, but then I guess, you know, there's also the possibility that there just weren't any taken, but yeah, I mean, that that was, I think, one of the most surprising twists that I've seen um, on this show. I think it will be really interesting to see um, for, for Team Black, will they get to meet their father? Um, will he get to, you know, kind of give them a bit more of the story? And then same thing for Team Blue, um, when JT meets his father, hopefully his father can give some of the story of what's going on, especially because we know that there's... You know, JT's sister had uh, basically fostered JT's brother, or not brother, JT's cousin, but it was a cousin from his father's side. So his sister on his mother's side was watching a cousin on his father's side. So it's like, you know, why, where, what's going on there? Because there seems to be some more of a connection than just, you know, his mom's side and his dad's side. It seems like those sides are somehow connected well beyond. So uh, a whole lot more to look forward to. Um, seriously emotional episode. I'm sure a lot of you had a lot of tissues you went through. So I imagine the rest of this season is probably going to get pretty crazy as well. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It is completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.